Mineral Resources and Energy Department has begun consultations for a proposed nuclear power plant. Environmental campaigners are not happy. EarthLife Africa has written to the department and they want them to stop looking into this option. And for more, I'm joined now by EarthLife Africa spokesperson Makoma Lekalakala. Good evening, Makoma. Thank you very much for your time. Um, for how long have you known that, um, that government was looking at nuclear as an option. We've known for a while, they've spoken about the mix, but it seems now government's taken a step forward with this request for information. Um, we learned um, in the previous week uh, that the minister, when he announced that uh, they are going ahead, uh, when he announced that um, they are procuring, they are, have plans to um, continue with the nuclear um, uh, power and uh, he announced that they're going to look at the small modular reactors and uh, we wrote a letter to him reminding him of um, the um, judgment that was handed out at, uh, in 2017 on the 26th of April by the Western Cape High Court halting former President uh, Zuma's nuclear deal. And uh, we also reminded him of the um, the, the, the oath that was taken, the signed affidavit oath that was taken by um, Mr. David Mashobo, then Minister of Energy, that they are not going, they are, they are adhering with the court judgment of the Western Cape High Court not to continue with any new, new nuclear build until um, legislative and regulatory processes have been taken. So by the minister announcing or issuing the request for information, this flies in the face of a son undertaken by the then minister David Maslobo in November 2017. And in our view, the current minister of, um, um, of minerals, resources and energy is bound by that undertaking. So we're waiting for his response to the letter that we wrote. And then um, based on what his response is, that is then that would seek um, legal advice. But for now, we're urging him to withdraw the request for information. Oh, just tell us a little bit more about that a court ruling. You say there's a, a legal process that's been undertaken. But does that mean, uh, from your understanding of that court case, that government simply can't have any more nuclear builds? What is the legal process that has to be followed? The process is that um, the integrated resource plan has got to, we, we understand that the, the integrated resource plan has got an energy mix in it and nuclear is an energy mix. But what we realized that last, in October 9, 2019, the minister gazetted the integrated resource plan. And uh, firstly, he gazetted the wrong one, which has a 22,500 megawatt of, um, of nuclear. And that was um, that was rectified, and um, the correct version does not have nuclear at all. So the minister is using the the wrong integrated resource plan uh, to proceed with the new nuclear build. And uh, to our surprise, is that in that integrated resource plan, the 17,000 megawatts of wind. Why not roll it now? Uh, if you go nuclear it's not low cost option unlike wind and it's very expensive and economically it's not viable at all it's interesting because you mentioned the cost and my understanding is that um government is actually exploring the 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 priv a privately built owned and operated nuclear option to see if that would be viable which of course would certainly uh, take the financial burden of the state before they could even um, issue or plan or want to have more information, there's a process that is supposed to take place. That process that has got to determine if new generation electricity is needed. And that process did not take place. And that is what we're taking him up on to say he has got to fulfill the regulatory processes first before he could even go ahead and announce, including even... Uh, um, issuing requests for information. Well, thank you very much, and uh, we await response from the Minister. That was Earthlife Africa spokesperson Makoma Lekalakala.